right, so today we're going to be making the salty sea shrimp. So the ingredients that we're using is this bag of Tiger Bay uncooked shrimp, and then a Zatarain's crab boil in a bag, one onion, and one lemon. So the two variations that we're doing is a total cook time of four and a half minutes, and then four and a half minutes after the simmer has been achieved. So the first step that we're doing is we're just thawing the shrimp in a bowl of cold water. Okay, so for the next step, I put six cups of water along with the onion and the lemon that are cubed in the Zatarain's bag, and I'm just going to bring this to a boil. I let that simmer for about four minutes. I'm just going to take two cups of this liquid and add it to another pot. And then I'm going to add about 15 ice cubes to this to let it cool. <laughs> Those should cool it down a little bit and then I'm going to add six more cups to this big pot and bring it back up to a boil. Okay, so now that this has reached a full boil again, I'm going to add the shrimp in. And for this first round, we're just going to have the shrimp in the water for a total of 45 or four and a half minutes. So I'm going to start my timer right now. And since it's already reduced to a simmer, I'm just going to reduce the heat a little bit and cook it for four and a half minutes. Okay, so now that I've let that cook for about four and a half minutes, I'm just going to scoop up the shrimp and put it into our cooled liquid. Now I don't have one of those spoons with a drainer, so I'm just using a regular spoon. Try not to capture any of the hot liquid. Okay, so it looks like I've got all the shrimp out. Oh, just kidding. Okay, so now I have the shrimp all in our cooled liquid that we made before. So I'm just going to add a couple ice cubes because Courier states that that allows it to cook evenly. And then I'm going to let that sit for five minutes. Okay, so this is what it looks like after it's been cooled for five minutes. It's still a little bit warm to the touch, but as you can see, the proteins in the meat have denatured and coagulated, turning the shrimp meat more from that clear kind of whitish um, color to just like a pure white now. So it is very tender, very soft when I tried it. It does have a little bit of that salty flavor from the Zatarain's crab bowl, but we're going to see in our next um, run how the increased cooking time affects it. Okay, so this is our second round. Pretty much all of the initial steps have stayed the same. So now I just boiled the rest of the six cups of water and I'm ready to add the shrimp in. Okay, so since that pretty much reduced to a simmer as soon as I put it in the water, instead of waiting for it to simmer and cook for four and a half minutes, I'm just gonna cook it for seven minutes on medium heat.
Okay, so this is the shrimp that has been cooked for seven minutes. I noticed a few differences. The first one being these are a lot easier to peel. See, those just come off really easily. Secondly, they're a little bit more salty and flavorful than the other ones, maybe just because they were in the water a little bit longer, they absorbed more of the flavor. And most importantly, these seem to be a tad bit tougher not too tough that they were super chewy and overcooked, but in the other version, I noticed that they was just very tender and very soft, almost undercooked, so these turned out perfectly in my opinion.